Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you three ways to restart File Explorer without rebooting. This is handy if you edited your registry or there's something you need that technically requires a system restart. Oftentimes, restarting Explorer will solve the problem by refreshing everything on your desktop, etc. So it's really kind of handy to know, especially if you don't want to reboot and you find yourself rebooting frequently. So let's start with number one. That's Task Manager, which is frankly all you need to know. The other ones are just like bonus rounds. So we're going to use task managers, two ways to get there. So follow along at home, press control, alt, delete, and just press task manager right here. Or that's the fastest way, in my opinion, the windows key plus X and click on task manager right there. Either one requires a couple of clicks. Now what you're looking for is windows Explorer. So here's the thing, depending on what you're using right now, See, if it's open, I'll find it. If it's not, I won't. In other words, File Explorer, Windows Explorer will be up here under Apps if it's running. Let me see if I can show you. There you go, right there, if it's running. If it's not running, it's going to be way down towards the bottom typically. So you're looking for a yellow icon that will help you find it. So just grab this little bar right here and start scrolling on down. And just go kind of slow and look for that yellow icon, probably near the bottom. There it is. I'll minimize this because what's going to happen is when we restart your desktop will flash. So let's right click and click on restart. There you go. Done. All right, next up. Just in case stuff isn't working right. Command prompt or PowerShell, open either one. I will do PowerShell. And I'll run it as administrator just in case. So again, I use search. Start typing in PowerShell. You can do CMD for command prompt. I'm going to run as admin just in case. There we go. Here's the two lines you need. This one's a bit long, so if need be, just check the video description for a link to this tutorial. Or just start typing as you see it, exactly with the space, space, space. So I'm going to take my PowerShell. And it's important to note you're going to lose your taskbar when you do this, so be careful. You want to know start explorer.exe. Got that? Start space explorer.exe. Because if you don't pay attention, you might lose your windows and not find them. I'll show you what I mean. Now, for example, as you can see, I don't have a start menu. We got to start it back up. So I wouldn't touch this. I would leave it right here. If you minimize it, you might have trouble getting it back. Maybe alt tab. But it's a lot easier just to keep that PowerShell or command prompt front and center. So now we'll do start, space, E-X-P-L-O-R-E-R dot -E E-X-E. Start explorer dot E-X-E. Press enter, and you'll see a flicker in the start menu taskbar will come back. There it is. Be patient. Piece of cake. So that's back. So that's another way to do it. Now a third way to do it, which is kind of cool, let's say you're somebody who actually finds that you're restarting File Explorer quite a bit for whatever reason. More than likely, you got some sort of problem you got to fix, but maybe you just use it a lot. Third party app. Right click Restart Explorer. Once again, check the video description for a link to this. And it actually just modifies the registry for you. And it takes you through that. What's it going to do? Open up uh, screenshots and a new thing? Yeah, thanks. Great time to do that. So it's just going to walk you through it. And when you get done, you'll have this right here when you right click with your context menu. So if it's something you use more often than not, maybe it's something you want to use. But if you ask me, I guess you kind of did because you're here. So if you ask me, I like Task Manager. How are you going to beat that? Control Alt Delete, Windows Key Plus X, boom, restart, done. That's it. And there you go. There's three pretty simple ways to restart File Explorer without having to reboot your computer. As always, you know the drill. Got to do it. Bottom right, subscribe, click like, and, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate you. See you.